Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I recently shared an example email in a video and unexpectedly the comment section went crazy with questions on how I created my email signature. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to create a custom email signature just like this, as well as showing you how to insert it into your email service provider so it automatically adds into your emails. Plus, if you stick around until the end, I'm also gonna show you how to insert buttons into your email signature that will allow you to link to different websites. Maybe it's a class website or a grade level website, resources for parents and more. Let's jump into it. I'm gonna be using Google Slides in order to create the email signature, but keep in mind, you can use any design platform of your choice, such as Canva. The steps will be relatively the same. Step number one is setting up the slide. So I'm within my Google Drive. I'm just going to create a new set of Google Slides. You can also just type in slides.new right in your address bar and it will open up a new set of slides. I'm gonna close out the slide theme and I'm also going to click and drag in order to select both of those text boxes and delete them because I want a nice blank canvas to start. Now I'm gonna resize the slide. So I'm gonna click File. I'm going to come all the way down to Page Setup. You might have to scroll down a little bit. Once I click that, I have widescreen. I'm gonna click that drop down and select custom. Now, this is not the only size you can use, but I have found that 12 inches by four inches is a great size, but keep in mind you can customize this and play around with some different sizes that you might like a little bit better. I'm going to click apply, and now I have a nice long slide to be able to design my email signature. Which brings us to step number two, we are going to design the slide. This is where we're gonna add in images and text boxes to get it looking exactly the way we want. Personally, I like to have a picture within my email signature. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Keep in mind, you could add in a Bitmoji or an actual picture. I'm gonna quickly just show you either option, that way you can pick and choose. If I want to insert a Bitmoji, I have the Bitmoji Chrome extension, so I'm going to click that, and I'm just gonna choose an image of my face or my Bitmoji that I like. So for example, I could choose this one, right click, copy, I'm gonna come back to the slide, right click, paste. And then from here, I can resize it so that it fills up that space. So I'm just clicking and dragging in those corners. And then I'm gonna kind of move it around either using my mouse or I can use the keys on my keyboard to kind of nudge it a little bit in either direction. And that looks pretty good, but I'm gonna switch over to an actual picture of myself. So I'm gonna delete the Bitmoji. I'm now going to insert an image by clicking the insert image button here. I'm going to upload from my computer, but if I had this in my Google Drive, I could select it from there as well. I'm gonna use this headshot. I'm gonna click open, and I want to make it fill that entire space, so I'm going to click and drag to line it up in the top left corner, and then just use that bottom little box in order to resize it. That looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is add in my name and my title. So for example, Mrs. Emerson, fourth grade teacher. I'm going to insert a text box. And for now, I'm just gonna click so it will insert a general text box. I'm gonna type my name, which I love writing in all capital letters. So I'm gonna turn on caps lock and type in Mrs. Emerson. I am now going to use Command A, or if you're using a PC, it would be Control A, in order to select all of the text. And I'm gonna change the font lately. Y'all know I've been on a big Poppins kick. I love that the Poppins font family has so many different like thickness options. I'm going to make it black. That way it's nice and bold and chunky. <laughs> and then we're gonna resize it. Let's go size like 65 and just see, I'm gonna resize my text box by clicking and dragging. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna move this up to the very top, and I think I wanna keep it left aligned. I, I like that all the text will kinda line up with the picture, but I am gonna move this over so that it lines up with the image. Okay, 
That looks good. Now I wanna put my title, like fourth grade teacher underneath. So I'm just gonna duplicate this text box. I'm going to click in order to select the text box. I'll have that blue outline. And then on my keyboard, I'm clicking Command D, but if you're on a PC, it would be Control D. It will make an exact copy. I'm gonna drag it underneath and I'm going to triple click or use Command A or Control A to select all the text. And I'm gonna type fourth grade teacher. I'm gonna select all the text and let's change it to semi-bold. Okay, I like that for now. Let's make this smaller. Let's try size like 48. All right, that's still too big. So now I'm just gonna use the minus size to decrease like one font size at a time. Okay, 44 looks pretty good. I'm going to use my down arrow to nudge it down just a little bit. That looks pretty good. I wanna insert a line as like a separator between my name and title and then the contact information I add underneath. So I'm gonna come up here to the line tool and I'm going to click down, but then hold shift as I move my finger in order to draw the line. Over the line, Jim. That will keep the line nice and straight rather than going at an angle. So I'm gonna click down, hold down shift, and then drag, and you'll notice my line is nice and straight. I don't want it to go all the way across. I want there to be a little bit of a gap. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna come up here to the line color, and right now it's on like this dark charcoal gray. I'm just gonna switch it over to black. And then next to it, I can choose the line weight. So let's try four points. Okay, that looks good enough. I mean, I'm happy with that. I'm now gonna click and drag my line just up a little bit. And I love that it ends like right where the R is in teacher. So again, looks pretty good. Now I wanna add in my contact information. So I'm gonna have my phone number, email, and like my room number. So I want to insert in those little icon images that y'all see me use all the time, and I'm gonna insert them straight from Google. So I'm gonna click that insert image button, but I'm gonna choose search the web. So we're gonna start with my email. I'm gonna type in email icon, just kind of see what comes up. I love this black circle with the white envelope. I'm going to select it and click insert. And then I'm gonna resize it. So again, I'm just clicking and dragging. And if I know that I'm gonna fit three of them, I feel like visually that looks like it should be enough space. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. I'm going to add in a text box to type out my email. So once again, I'm gonna just duplicate the one that I already have, so Command D, and it will make an exact copy. I'm gonna drag it over, and let's just type a fake email. So M Emerson at fakeemail.com. <laughs> I'm going to make this smaller. So I'm gonna keep decreasing until it fits, perfect. And I don't need to resize this, I can let it hang off the slide, but I like it better like this. I do want to click and drag until I get that red line showing me that it's centered within that icon. And that looks pretty good, maybe instead of semi-bold. Let's go normal. Yeah, that looks good, just so there's some variation in the thickness of the font. Now, because I'm making another contact line, I'm going to click and drag to select both that image and the text box, and now I'm going to duplicate them. So that way it just saves me from having to do it individually. I'm gonna click and drag so it's underneath and lined up. I'm using those red guidelines to help me. Now I want to swap out that email icon for like a phone number icon or a phone icon, I guess. So I'm going to click that so it is selected and I'm gonna click replace image. This way I don't have to resize anything. It'll just pop the new icon in. I'm gonna choose search the web and let's do phone icon. We'll just see what comes up. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all another little hack. Notice none of these phone icons have like a black circle with a white phone but there is this green one. I'm gonna select that, and I know what you're thinking. You're like, Michelle, that's gonna look awful. Oh, no, no, stay with me. I'm going to show you how to turn this green icon black. We're gonna click Format Options. It's gonna bring over this side toolbar, and I'm gonna click on Recolor. From here, where it says No Recolor, I'm gonna click the drop down, and then I can look at my options, and right here, I can click that and now my green icon has become black. I will say, depending on the original color of the image, it doesn't always work out perfectly, 
but you can always come here to adjustments and by playing with like the contrast and the brightness, you can sometimes get it to be exactly what you want. I'm gonna close out of format options. I'm gonna type in my phone number. So I'm gonna select all of the email text. And obviously this is not my real phone number. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And once again, I'm gonna click and drag to select both the icon and the phone number, and I'm going to duplicate them. Click and drag underneath so that they line up. And again, I'm just using those guidelines to help me. Oh, there we go, there's the red line. It's like, I know it's close. Okay, now I am noticing that it's a little too close to the bottom. So here's what I'm gonna do, and y'all are gonna think I'm crazy for this. I'm gonna click and drag so that I select both of the bottom two. I'm gonna click the up arrow on my keyboard just to nudge it up a little bit. Click so that it deselects them. This time click and drag just the bottom one and use the up arrow again. So that way they're a little bit closer together, although I'm not loving that. So I'm going to zoom in. This is so extra. Okay, don't be me. Just do as I say, don't, not as I do. Okay, we're gonna bump it down, but it's still, uh, all right, here's what we're gonna do. Backtrack, okay, backtrack. We're gonna, we're gonna go back to where we were originally when things were just a little too close to the bottom. I'm gonna bump all of them up. So clicking and dragging all three, bump it up one. That looks much better. If I want to, I could bump up this line just a little bit, that looks good. And then maybe I select both of these text boxes. So Another way to do it, if you click the first text box, hold down shift and click the second text box, it will select them both. I'm gonna nudge those up a little because I have some white space up here. Okay, we're looking better. Let's resume where we were. So now this last one, I want it to be like my room number. So I'm going to click the image, select replace image, search the web. And this time let's do like school icon and just see what comes up. Okay, so we've got this little school building. Again, it's blue, but if I insert it in, okay, it did not maintain the coloring, but that's okay, we'll do it again. I'm gonna click Format Options, come here to Recolor, click the drop down, and then I can select that one that gives me the black. And let's say that I'm room number one, two, three, four, <laughs> conveniently, okay. Now we have designed the entire slide. It's looking pretty good. If you wanna see it full screen, you can click slideshow and just make sure everything is aligned the way that you want it. Now we are on to step number three, which is going to be setting the signature. I'm gonna model for you how to do this within Gmail, but the process is very similar in other email service providers such as Outlook. So if you do not use Gmail and you're a little bit confused, just Google how to set an email signature in your email service provider provider and you can find tons of tutorials on that. But essentially we are going to export this email signature as an image and then insert it in. So I'm going to click escape to go back to my slide and let's go ahead and give this a title. So email signature, that way I can come back and edit it if need be. In order to export this as an image, I'm going to click file. I'm going to hover over download. And I can select either JPEG or PNG image. It doesn't really matter, but I find that the PNG image tends to be a little bit higher quality, so that's what I'm gonna select. It'll take a few seconds and it will save directly to my downloads. Now I'm going to open up a new tab with my email. And I have it bookmarked so I can get to it very quickly. In order to set your email signature in Gmail, you're gonna click the settings gear in the top right. Click see all settings. And then you're gonna scroll down until you get to the email signature part right here. Now you will notice that I already have my current email signature and you can actually save multiple email signatures at least in Gmail, but most email service providers will allow you to do that. So I actually have the like teaching one that I use when I'm creating teaching videos, which is basically what I showed you how to just create. So I'm gonna click create new I can give my signature a name, so I'm just gonna call this example. <laughs> Click create, and now I have the blank box. I want to insert in that image that I just exported from Google Slides. So I'm gonna click the image button, 
And if this were in my Google Drive, if I uploaded that image into Google Drive, I could find it from there. But I'm gonna select Upload since I just have it on my computer and I'm going to select a file from my device. There is that image that I saved. Click Open. It'll take a few seconds to upload. Now, you will notice when it pops it in there, it's very big. So I'm going to click on it. From here, I can change the size. So right now it is original size. Play around with it. I usually start it small and it's like, ooh, that's a little too small. Medium, getting better, large, looking good. From here, I can then save. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down, save changes. And I like to just kind of test it and see what it looks like. So for example, I need to click compose. And right now it has inserted my default signature, which is my business signature. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how to insert these little buttons underneath, but I can click the insert signature and I can swap over to the example that I just created. And I can even go full screen in order just to make sure that it looks good. As promised, we're gonna move on to step number four, which is technically a bonus step. It's not a necessity, but it can be a really nice feature to add in. We're gonna create buttons, which are little clickable images that you can insert either above or underneath of that existing email signature to be able to link to different websites and resources. This is especially helpful when you are emailing families. So in order to do that, I'm gonna come back to Google Slides. I need to make a new Google Slides file. So I'm gonna click File, New, and I'm gonna choose just Presentation. And just like before, I'm closing out of my theme. I'm getting rid of these text boxes because I just like a fresh canvas to start. We're gonna title this Email Signature Buttons. And we're gonna resize it just like before. So file, scroll down, page setup, click the widescreen option and choose custom. This time we're still gonna leave it as 12 inches because I want my button to be the same like length as the email signature, but we're gonna make it like three quarters of an inch. So zero and 75 hundredths click apply and now i have this real long skinny rectangle again feel free to customize the size however you would like i really like for my buttons to be black i feel like they pop but again you can make them colorful you could maybe do rainbow colors rainbow stickers all over the back windshield i'm going to select background and change the color to black click done and once again i can insert in that text box i'm actually going to come back to the email signature and we're gonna use this text box right here. I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm going to paste it here. Now, I'm gonna change the font color to white so that it pops off of the black. And let's go ahead and resize it right in the middle, and I'm gonna click and drag so it goes all the way across. And for these, I do wanna center the text, so I'm changing the alignment to center. But from here, I can change that text. So for example, it could be check out our website. Now I can repeat this to create as many buttons as I need. So for example, I can right click on this slide and choose duplicate slide. And it could then say, check out these resources, you know, whatever you want it to be. But I'm just going to use the first one as an example. So once you have it created, we're going to export it as an image, just like before. So I'm going to select that slide, choose file, hover over download and choose PNG image. Now I'm gonna go back to my Gmail. I'm gonna go back to my settings, see all settings, scroll down to where that email signature section is. Make sure I select the one I just created, the example. Now I'm gonna put my cursor after that image. I'm gonna click enter. So I go down underneath of it and I'm gonna click the insert image button again. I'm going to upload that file. So I'm selecting it just like before from my downloads, click open. And now once again, I need to resize it. So I'm gonna click it, choose large, and you will notice it fits right underneath of my email signature, but I wanna make sure that I link it. So I'm going to select that image. So you can like kind of click and drag to highlight it if you need to, or just kind of click, make sure it's selected. I'm gonna choose the link button. From here, I can copy and paste any link where I want this button to go. So I've shown in previous videos how to create a class or grade level website just like this. So if you're interested in that video, I will link it down below. 
but I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to come back to my Gmail. I'm going to paste it and click OK. Once I have that set up, because again, I can repeat that for as many buttons as I need. So I can again hit enter and insert in a new button. But I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes at the bottom. Once again, I want to test this. So I'm going to click Compose. I'm going to switch it over to that example email signature and I can look at it full screen. I can click on that button and it will show me the website that it will go to. I can click and make sure that it will work, but that's it. That's how you create a custom email signature as well as those clickable buttons. If you found this video helpful, please share it out with your teacher friends. You know, you can create matching email signatures for your whole team. Like how adorable would that be? If you also enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.